Hi Libras, welcome to your October 2019 love reading. We're doing another Candlelight Tarot edition. I miss the Candlelight Tarot. I don't know if you guys care about it at all or not, but I love it. I love doing it. Love candles. So, we're going to have a Candlelight Tarot edition for October 2019. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is happening in the area of love and romance? For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of October 2019. I love you, Libras. You guys are going to have a birthday it's coming up pretty soon. So, you guys are one of the first videos getting loaded since it's birthday season for Libra. I adore you, Libras. I adore you, Libras. I'm a Scorpio, Sun, Taurus, Moon, Libra, Rising. But I love me my Libras. So let's see what's happening with you sexy, sexy people out there in love and romance. Oop, one, two, three, four, five. All right, my darlings. Oh, Libra. Tumultuous beginnings, huh? You all have five of swords. Five of swords is not necessarily quote unquote a bad card um i'm kind of of the belief there are no bad cards uh but some people sometimes they see five of swords and they're like oh no i don't want five of swords you know because let's face it five of swords isn't like ten of cups or something or two of cups but i think five of swords is a great card to have come up because in my experience in reading for people over the years and even for myself um, I've found that five of swords can sometimes mean that you're about to sabotage something like you're about to shoot yourself in the foot and five of swords is coming up to give you a warning so that you don't do it like it's kind of coming up to help you prevent that from happening okay some of you are very quick to write people off especially those of you who are single and you've been single for a really long time, you've been really quick to write people off. And maybe kind of like you've had to be, like maybe you've had experiences where people have not had your back or, you know, you just like felt like you couldn't trust them. And so you felt like you've had to write people off or you felt like you've had to be quick to write people off. And now here's this energy coming in that's telling you um, not to do that. Don't be so quick because for me, five of swords is like an argument, a little thing that escalates, that becomes a big deal when it didn't need to be a big deal. And, um, you know, it can end up burning bridges. So this could be in a relationship where spirits like, hey, Libra, you know, just a heads up, there could be a little uh, friction that ends up getting blown way out of proportion. And you can avoid that from happening. Or for those of you who are single, October is saying somebody's coming in, possibly early Early on in the month since this is our first card and you might be really tempted to say oh okay we'll see like here, here's why I'm not going to give this person a chance and spirits saying hold up hold on wait a minute um you know this might be a good opportunity for you to take a moment and think about why this is aggravating you whether it's a new person whether it's uh you know somebody you've been dealing with for a while calm your feelings down, calm your emotions down. And when you're in a calm state, go ahead and talk about it with that person when you're calm, when you're not worked up anymore. A lot of the times with five of swords, it's like you don't want to say something because you're like, oh, I don't want them to think I'm being, you know, I'm being sensitive. I don't want them to think that I'm being like, you know, high maintenance. I don't want them to think I'm being difficult or I don't want them to think that I'm like, you know, being a baby about something. So you don't say something and then it happens again and then it happens again and then it happens again. And after like the 10th, 15th time, you know, you're just like, ah! like you just you can't even take it anymore. And that person's confused because they're doing the same thing they've been doing the past 20 times. And you haven't sent, said a single thing about it. But all of a sudden on the 20th time, you're like, ah, and they're like, okay, wow, Libra, what's up with you? Like what you're sensitive today, or man, you must be in a bad mood. They don't, they don't know. They don't understand why you're upset. As far as they know, as far as they can tell, everything is normal. Everything's the same way it always is. But for some reason, you're, you're, you know, in a bad mood. So five of swords is saying, don't let it get to that point, right? Address it in the moment when you're calm and when you can say, hey, you know what, this really bugs me. Or hey, you know, that kind of hurt my feelings. Or hey, you know, I have an idea or, you know, whatever it might be, but but do it when you're in the calm space, you know, do it when you're in the calm space. Don't do it 
when you're angry or when you're all worked up. Next here, we have Page of Cups. So this might be Libra. Some of you aren't going to like to hear this. Um, I really feel this reading is gearing towards those of you Libras that love has been challenging for you, okay? Whether you're in a relationship that's been challenging for you or you've been having a hard time, you know, finding a relationship or you've been single a while. Because Page of Cups, those of you that you watch my videos, you know what Page of Cups means for me, okay? All readers read differently and different cards have different meanings, Obviously, my darlings, Page of Cups can be a new love that's coming in. It could be a younger or a very fun and spontaneous water sign. You may be dealing with a Scorpio, uh, Pisces, um, or a Cancer. Uh, you know, it can mean a lot of different things. And it's going to mean different things for different ones of you. But the vibe and the feeling that I'm getting, I feel that this Page of uh, Cups is coming up, letting us know that a lot of you Libras, who have, you know, just kind of not been feeling super satisfied in love life. Uh, you have either a relationship that's reconciled, like, I don't know if I want to stay reconciling, like you're working on a relationship, trying to get closer with an existing person, or for a single person, a new person's coming in. And so for this to happen, Spirit is letting you know, Libra, your heart chakra is going to begin a clearing. Your sh heart chakra is going to begin opening up. Okay, your heart chakra is going to begin uh, expanding. And so as a result, it's going to feel a little overwhelming. Some of you Libras, you're already like, you've been doing your work, right? You're like, oh, no, I've done all my heart chakra stuff. And I'm really open and I'm ready for love. And, you know, I'm really in a place where I'm ready to receive what the universe has in store for me. So Libra, some of you where you're really on that high vibration, you have a page of cups coming in, not necessarily like in the sense that they're not serious about you, but page of cups in the sense that like their heart chakra is newly opening. You may be a little bit further on the spiritual and healing path than they are. Okay, so it's either you Libra or someone that you're dealing with where um, the emotions are going to feel very intense and there's going to be times when you feel like you want to um, not 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 end things, but like needing a moment, needing a moment. And this is probably why five of swords came up, right? So if it's not you, Libra, if you're not the one where you're dealing with these new emotions, if you're not the one where the heart chakra is opening up, then you might be dealing with a person where you might be like, oh, okay, well, like, let's talk about this, or like something happened. And they're in this page of cups mode. They're like, emotions are very overwhelming. So your best approach with your person, Libra, is going to be to give them that space, right? Don't be like, oh, let's talk about this, or oh, you seem to be distant, or oh, like, did that bother you, or why did that bother you, or I'm just trying to understand you. Like, just give them their space because because they may be feeling very overwhelmed. For other ones of you, Libra, you're feeling overwhelmed. Don't be quick to write this relationship off because it could be that, that it's not the relationship. It's not the person um, that's negative in the relationship. It could just be you have a lot of really overwhelming feelings coming up and it could be very tempting for you, Libra, to run away from this person when a lot of the things that you're feeling aren't necessarily their fault. It's just the old stuff coming to the surface. I feel, Libra, some of you have been working on yourselves for a very long time. So you're like, no, I'm ready. Like, I'm ready for a relationship. But I've said this before, and I say it in a loving way, and I say it about myself. I'm not, like, putting anybody down. Like, I don't care how much healing you've done. I don't care how much work you've done on yourself. Anytime you've taken, like, a long break from relationships, and then you get back into the swing of it, and you meet somebody that you really like, there's nothing like loving someone uh, or feeling for someone deeply. Uh, nothing like that 
to to bring our, our crazy out like all of our insecurities all of our fears just kind of come to the surface even though we've been working on that stuff so just take it with a grain of salt be patient with yourself if you need to take a time out take a time out if you need to go be emo for a little bit in your room uh go be emo for a little bit but don't feel like you have to write this relationship off don't feel like you have to end things or push this person away okay oh my gosh and then next here we have the ten of swords so some of you are like oh well then i guess this relationship's not gonna last that's not the case that's not the case at all i have to tell you ten of swords for me has come up um any time before something really amazing happened or any time before my life changed in a really big way not just for me but for my clients a lot of a lot of you don't know me because i'm fairly new on youtube um but a lot of my clients before i started doing youtube i've been reading for them for years so i get to see what happens with them like i get to see what happens in between the readings and so for my clients also a lot of the times i found when i pull the ten of swords it's before something really amazing happening Okay, and I know it's a very scary looking card. Like we don't see this image here as like a positive thing. It's somebody with 10 swords in them. But all 10 of swords means is something toxic is ending. Okay, and whether that means that you have had a toxic way of dealing with your emotions, because 10 of swords can also mean overcoming an addiction, right? So if it's uh, alcohol, if it's food, if it's gambling, if it's being a workaholic, if it's being addicted to someone who's terrible for you, you know, whatever it might be, addiction comes in a billion trillion different forms. Um, and we all kind of have our own vices. So whatever kind of vice that you had that was preventing your flow of love from happening is getting cleared out of the way. Like this is it. It's done for good. There's no going back to it. You are ascending. You are evolving. Some of you are, you know, doing something along the lines of getting treatment for some substance issue. Or you may be dealing with a partner who's going through treatment for a substance issue. But I think for the majority of you, this is like you're, you're being able to look in the mirror and see where you've been sabotaging yourself. You're able to look in the mirror and see see where you've been shooting yourself in the foot when it comes to love and you're putting an end to it you're like no more of that self-sabotaging behavior no more of the the vices and the crutches that have been you know allowing me or enabling me to sabotage myself like you're clearing all of that out of the way Honestly, that's what I feel is happening for the majority of you. Some of you are in a relationship, like a new person's coming in. And it's like the past comes knocking when that happens. And this is actually a pretty common occurrence for anybody who's been doing a lot of soul work, who's been doing a lot of healing, who's been doing a lot of ascending, right when you're like on the cusp of like moving to the next level of energy, old energy will come around and try to latch on to you before you make that transition. Like the, it's like their, their last little moment, they're trying to pull you back in or yank you back in. So some of you are going to be very shocked. You may hear from an ex um, or someone that you haven't heard from in years like years like maybe you've written it off and you're like I don't even know if that person's still alive because they fell off the face of the earth don't be surprised if you find yourself in a relationship or you find yourself really happy and fulfilled in a current relationship and all of a sudden this person resurfaces and they're like baby 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 please 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 I love you you're the one I messed up I can't live without you blah 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 blah, blah. like full-on like waterworks like just like tears like just oh I can't be without you and I've changed or whatever like I feel that some of you have someone who's coming up who's making a very desperate plea for you for you to let them back in but Libra you're like I can't I, like you have done too much and, and maybe the old me would have done that maybe the old me would have gone and jumped right back into the fire to get burned a hundredth time but that's not me anymore and I can't do this so I'm happy with where I am I'm not going to go back to that energy. So some of some of you are just like no, like like you're just you're finally ending 
this very toxic thing that's been going on for like years even for some of you right like this person's just like you 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 thought you were done with them and they're resurfacing but you're putting an end to it once and for all um your next card here my darling libras okay is this is, I believe, in this deck, I get confused because of the way that it is. Yeah, this is Paige, because I remember the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is the card that I did on the boomerang. These little thingies up here kind of confuse me sometimes. And as always, if you like my sparkly, glittery deck, I always have the card info in the description of the video if you want to check it out. But this is going to be the Page of Wands, Libra. So some of you may be dealing, okay, some of you may be dealing with a younger um or playful water sign some of you may be because we had page of cups earlier but now we have page of rod so some of you could be dealing with a younger albeit this doesn't look like a young lad here but some of you may be dealing with a younger fire sign um who maybe is very very adventurous very mischievous <laughs> uh, you know maybe like just somebody who's getting you out of your shell okay and it doesn't necessarily have to be someone younger than you it could just be someone with a very adventurous spirit that you're dealing with it could be you if you have fire in your moon or in your rising um but overall i feel like the page of uh a uh, page of um uh wands for me it it's and i've said this in other readings it's like the second adolescence to me it's like the second adolescence card so there's like this feeling of wanting to get into action um adventure socializing you know like new friends getting out there again there's also like a there's like a certain sexiness with the page of wands in, in a love reading, at least in my experience. And it, I just, I, I always say like, take it back to like, you know, when you were younger, when you were a teenager and you started like, you know, having your first few like crushes and like, you know, like <laughs> you start feeling those tingly feelings, you know, and you get, you just get so uh, infatuated, you know? And so it's like that kind of energy Libra. So I feel like some of you, an existing relationship or a new relationship it's like you're getting that spark back but in a big way like in a big way where you're like I feel like a teenager again or I haven't felt this way since I was a teenager you know it's like that kind of energy where it just feels so um you know just so on top of the world right uh there, there there's the emo teenage love and then there's just like the just the mad passionate like amazing kind of, you know, love that we experience at that time in our life. And so I feel a lot of you are just meeting someone, especially those of you Libras who you've been single for a really long time and you've been okay with it. Like you've been working on yourself, you've been handling your business, you've been doing your thing and you've had options, but there just hasn't been anybody that you've been excited about. I feel October, somebody's coming in and you're just like, whoa, like, like finally, finally somebody I can be excited about. And I, I also have really good news for those of you Libras that like you've been worried because you've been like, oh man, you know, like, you know, I'm kind of worried that, you know, when I do finally settle down, like, am I going to settle? Like, do I have to pick a boring person who I just feel like is going to be a good partner, uh, you know, but, you know, I'm not going to have passion with them because I, in the past, always had a thing for, like, the bad boys or the bad girls, you know, and, like, now this person's coming in. Like, am I going to have to give up that passion? Page of Wands says, no, you're not giving up that passion. There's going to be a lot of passion. So I feel there's a lot of um, excitement, like, coming back for you, Libras, or, like, getting that fire or getting that spark back. Your next card here is Three of Swords, okay? Now, Three of Swords for me is a card about sacrifice. It's a card about sacrifices. It's not necessarily a breakup. Um, some of you are, some of you are breaking up with a person because maybe as these big emotions are coming up within yourself, you might be like, you know what? I thought I was ready, but I'm not ready. I need to take a little bit of time, right? 
For other ones of you, um, it could just be that these big heavy emotions are coming up that you didn't realize were there and you're having to process them. Okay, I do see three of swords come up in that way a lot in the readings that I've done for other people. It's not always like a situation where, say, um, you know, something new is happening. Uh, it's like old stuff coming to the surface. And so for a lot of you, it can be in um, in that way. Okay, it could be old stuff coming to the surface. But for some of you, this could be a sacrifice that you're feeling you're having to make. Okay. Um, for some of you, uh, you're facing the truth about yourself, about your circumstances, um, the choices or the decisions that you've been making in your life, uh, ways in which you feel like you need to be a better person or changes you feel like you need to make to ensure um, that this relationship stays being a healthy relationship. So anytime I see three of swords, to me, it's a truth being uncovered. And that can be in a lot of different ways. Um, I feel that for some of you, this person is coming in uh, with some challenges uh, that might be... Um, or, or, or some situation or some baggage that might be a little bit challenging. They may be going through uh, some heartaches, right? Especially with that 10 of swords that came up. Some of you are dealing with a person uh, that they're doing a lot of healing. And you're having to decide, okay, like, you know, do I want to be here for this person as a friend? Or do I want to, you know, be with this person more than that? But I do feel there's a lot of passion here with that page of wands. You know, there, there's that fire. Um, some of you are dealing with a temptation. And I hate to say this, Libra. I don't want to put it out there. And you guys know I try to be super positive in my readings. You know, I'm not like a negative Nancy. But I do feel some of you, Libras, what's happening is you're in this relationship. And you're in this new relationship. And everything's going really great and then remember how I said the person is coming back from the past and some of you are like oh well no like I'm so done with this person I don't want them and that person from the past is just convincing you like let me just see you just meet me please like I just need to talk to you and you think you're going to go there and you think you're going to give them a piece of your mind and they're 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 getting right into your pants and you're feeling horrible about it and you're struggling with do I tell my partner do I tell my partner this happened? Because I know a lot of you Libras who are watching, you guys don't like to do the unfaithful thing. At least my viewers, the people I read for, you know, that's not a, that's not a situation. That's not a vibration. A lot of my clients or my viewers get into like, they're not just like, oh, I'm going to go fool around. I'm going to go cheat on somebody. You know, but so I feel like you have a, a very difficult situation that you're like, do I tell my person that this happened or, or do I keep it to myself? I feel you're feeling terrible about it. So I think the moral of the story here, Libra, is for those of you that are having somebody from the past come back, even if you're like 100% sure and you're like, there's no way I'm ever going to be with that person again. I'm going to say don't talk to them. Don't engage them because this person's very persistent and they're going to they're going to convince you to hear them out and they're going to convince you to meet up with them. And once you meet up with them, they're going to work their little magic. They're going to work their little voodoo and they're going to get into your pants. And then you're like, oh, man, like now what do I do? Right. And and I, I feel like you're ending it with that person, especially after what happens. You're like, like this person is so bad for me and this person is so toxic. So I still feel the ten of swords that you are ending it with that person and you're realizing I can never talk to this person again because they show up and they pull me right back into the same cycle. But now you're faced with the situation of having to tell someone that, look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean this for hap for, I didn't mean for this to happen, but it happened. So I think the heads up here, my dear, is just avoid, avoid talking to that person. When the past comes calling, don't answer. There, there, there's, there's this new love 
focus on the new love or the current love. Um, you know, even if you feel like here's my chance to tell this person off, they're going to flip the script on you real quick. And the result of that would be three of swords. So here's a chance to avoid that. Okay, my darlings. Um, again, watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Sometimes those resonate more. But especially with the love readings, watching your Venus sign can be very helpful because Venus is what rules our love energy. Okay. So um, this is something for you to, to keep in mind uh, and ch check that out as well. Um, those of you who are cross watchers, I do the cross, I do special cross watching videos for cross watchers. Uh, the most recent one is linked in the description of this video. At the time of recording this, I haven't done October cross watchers yet. But they will be up very soon, so you can hit uh, like and subscribe. I'm, I'm, you can hit subscribe and notification, I mean, and you'll get a notice when the October cross watchers are up. And guys, don't forget to watch your weekly forecasts. I know we all care about love. It's a part of being human, but sometimes we get so wrapped up in love that we forget about ourselves. And that's why every single week I do a general forecast for each zodiac sign about like, you know, finances, career, spirituality, uh, emotional development, all that stuff, because I don't want you to forget about you, right? Like watch, watch your stuff too, not just the love stuff. So those get posted every single week. And um, thank you for uh, tuning in for another episode of Candlelight Tarot. You guys know I love to do the Candlelight Tarot. I don't do it every single month, but you'll have to let me know if you like the Candlelight vibes or not. And let me know if you want the Crosswatcher videos to be Candlelight or if you want them to be the regular way. Again, my dears, thank you for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I'm wishing you a fabulous October.